Hello, welcome to Valve channel. I'm Stephen. APR60 are very important standard. If you are going to design a valve which is going to work in petroleum and the natural gas industry, you must follow this standard to design that valve. APR means American Petroleum Institute. So first, what is the difference between APR60 and ASME B16.34? ASME B16.34 is the foundation standard in valve industry. For example, you can find a lot of very basic design factors located in this standard, like valve size, valve pressure class, valve material, valve body wall thickness, pressure and temperature rating. All those very basic design factors are located in this standard. But this standard doesn't contain enough information for design engineer going to design a valve for different flow control system. So that is the reason why we innovate some other kind of valve design standard for different uh, industry. So that is the basic relationship between APR60 and uh, ASME B16.34. And also, this standard contains a lot of information from ASME B16.34 and add and change some information from ASME B16.34. So that is the basic principle about APR60. So let's find out what kind of design factor we can find in this standard. Here is a slab gate valve designed by APR60. This kind of slab gate valve are very commonly used in petroleum and natural gas industry. So when we use APR60 to design this kind of slab gate valve, three basic design factor we really need to concern about it. The three basic design factor already casting on the valve body. One is a valve size, another is a valve pressure, and the last one is a valve material. So let's look at how APR60 describes those three different design factors. When we're going to design this kind of slab gate valve, the first size we are going to determine is the valve inside diameter. Valve inside diameter are very important for valve design engineer because that is the first size we are going to draw on the valve blueprint. So in APR60, it already offers one kind of table called a minimum bore for four open valve. So in this table, the vertical side is already divided to different nominal diameter, and the horizontal side divided to different uh, pressure class. So that is very easy to find out what is the real inside diameter. And also compare the APR60 inside diameter table and the ASME B. 16.34 inside diameter table. APR60 valve are bigger than the ASME B 16.34 valve. For example, the 100DN 4 inch size. From 115 pressure class until 1500 pressure class, the inside diameter didn't change. But in this table, ASME B 16.34, the 4 inch valve. From 900, the inside diameter already reduced. In 1500, the inside diameter reduced a lot. So let's find the answer why APR16 valve are bigger than the ASME B16.34. The reason why APR16 valve are bigger than the ASME B16.34 valve because this kind of valve will work in the petroleum industry. So what will happen in petroleum industry? In petroleum industry, a lot of valve and the pipe going to serve the crude oil inside. The crude oil actually are very sticky medium. It will left the deposit inside the pipe. It will stick it together and can block the system. So we will clean the pipe from inside using one kind of equipment called a pig. The real pig look like uh, this photo. This kind of equipment, we will use it to clean the pipe from the inside. So we don't want the valve don't have enough size to let this kind of equipment getting through. So that is the reason in petroleum industry, all the valve are not reduced because the valve must have enough size to let this kind of equipment getting through. And also that is the reason why the APR16 valve are bigger than the ASME B16.34 valve. In APR60, the pressure temperature rating, pressure class, and include the valve body wall thickness, all those design factors you will find in another standard which is called 
ask me B sixteen point three four because APR sixty in this part all follow from ask me B sixteen point three four. So that is the reason why we call this standard is the foundation standard in web industry because it contains a lot of very basic design factor inside web pressure class, web body work thickness, and pressure temperature rating. But except those part about pressure in APR sixty, it also contained one more thing about pressure, which is called a pressure relief. So let's find why in APR sixty it going to talk about pressure relief and what is a pressure relief. When we're talking about pressure, for example, this slab gate valve, the pressure class already casting on the valve body, which is six hundred pressure class. Does this valve body can hold 600 pressure class inside safely? The most important thing we are going to concern about it is the valve body wall thickness. You will find this design factor in ASME B 16.34. But in APR 60, except talking about pressure class, it is going to talk about one more thing about pressure, which is pressure relief. Why when you talk about pressure relief in APR 60? Because when we open and close the valve, the flow medium will trapped inside the valve cavity, and also in petroleum and natural gas industry, a lot of flow medium are very sensitive. The inside cavity pressure will going to change by outside temperature. With the outside temperature going higher, the inside cavity pressure also going higher. It may be higher than the pressure class, so that will be a very dangerous situation. That is the reason why in API 60 is going to required the valve have the pressure relief function. That means when we open and close the valve, flow can become trapped in the valve body. We need cavity relief function. That means pressure in the cavity from exceeding 1.33 times the valve pressure. The valve must relieve the pressure from the valve cavity. So let's find out how engineer going to design a valve have this kind of function. Here is slab gate valve catalog from an APR60 valve manufacturer. Let's find out how this gate valve is going to relieve the pressure inside the cavity. So according to the picture here, this picture already shows the basic principle about the cavity pressure relief. Here is a slab, the gate valve gate, and beside the gate is a valve seat ring, which is located in the valve body. And also in APR60, all the gate valve, the valve seat, are flexible. That is different than other standard of gate valve. So here is the cavity. When the cavity contains a lot of pressure inside, the pressure will push the valve seat back. It will left a gap between slab and the valve seat. So this gap is for the pressure in the cavity to relieve to the line. So that is uh, very easy to understand. And also according to the description here, safe relieving cavity. The seat is forced away from the gate surface, allowing the excess cavity pressure to be vented into the line. So that is a basic principle for gate valve to relieve the pressure inside the cavity. And except the gate valve, we also have ball valve. In APR60, ball valve are very commonly used in the flow control system. And also ball valve contain a very big cavity inside. So we also need to relieve the pressure inside the cavity. The basic principle is the same with the gate valve. If the inside cavity contains a lot of pressure inside, the pressure will push the valve seat back. It will left the gap between valve seat and the ball. So the pressure can relieve from the gap. According to the description, excess body cavity pressure pushes the downstream seat rings away from the ball, relieve over pressure into the body cavity. So that is very easy to understand by this illustration. So that is a function for the gate valve and the ball valve to relieve the pressure inside the cavity. When we talk about the material like this one, the material WCB casting on the valve body, you may think this valve can work in high temperature environment like a 425 Celsius degree, 1200 Fahrenheit degree. But actually the result is not. Because in APR60 valve, a lot of valve inside component were made by soft material, like the seat ring and the seat O-ring in this slab gate valve. It's made by RTFV and Vitam. Those kind of material cannot work in 225 Celsius degree environment. 
If you put this valve in 400 Celsius degree environment, the high temperature will totally destroy the seed ring and the seed O ring. And not just the gate valve, the ball valve situation is the same. Ball valve also contain a lot of soft material inside. According to the material list here, the ball valve seat inset and the seat o-ring all made by soft material. So this kind of valve cannot work in high temperature environment. And also the reason why we use a lot of soft material to make APR 6D valve, because in APR 6D uh, standard industry flow control system, we will very rare to make high temperature, so we don't need to use the metal to make the valve seat. Because if you use the metal to make a valve seat, that will be very difficult to make the valve seal completely. Zero leakage, and it's very difficult to make by metal seat. But that will also cause one kind of problem, which is if the fire occur, the valve will totally leak. So we need to make the valve safe during the fire. So according to the APR60, the valve must have fire safety function. So let's find out how during the fire, the valve still can seal the flow inside. This illustration is going to show how the fire safety ball valve is going to work before fire and after fire. We are going to use two kinds of material to make the ball valve valve seat. Outside is the metal seat. We will insert the soft seat inside the metal. So in the normal temperature working environment, the soft material is going to cooperate with the ball to seal the pressure inside the valve. When the fire occurs, the fire will totally destroy the soft seat and other soft material. But we still have the metal seat. The metal seat will be pushed by the spring and the pressure will totally against with the ball. So the metal seat and the ball will make the second seal to seal the valve. Even though in this kind of situation, the valve will be very difficult to operate again. But at least uh, this kind of function will seal the pressure inside the flow control system. So that is a very basic function for the ball valve, and also we still have the gate valve. The function is the same, and also the principle is the same with the ball valve. When the fire occur or the soft seat damage, when the soft seat damage, the seat of metal to metal will function as a second seal. So that is the function for the fire safety ball valve and the fire safety gate valve. When you're going to design a valve by APR60, you're going to choose a correct material. You still need to look at the material list from ASME B16.34 because APR60 material list are followed by ASME B16.34. So that is a very basic information about how to choose the correct material for designing a valve by APR60. So now we already talked about three basic things about designing a valve by APR60. Fire safety and the size and uh, the pressure relief. So thank you for watching. See you next video. Bye-bye.